Having trained at the legendary El Bulli, head chef Omar Aliboy's tapas dishes are technically challenging, delicate and precise. If the mise en place is not done right, the end of the dish will not be done right. Like, yeah, that's it, that's it, that's it, that's it. Repeat the operation. You just made very good roulette, honestly. I'm so happy I've been here today. The techniques, the skill that's required to make these dishes is just unbelievable. I'm going to be unstoppable after this. She has the passion, she has the interest, and she has the willingness to learn. Well done, chef. My chef's really hot too. Omar's main dish for our feast is a gorgeous combination of Spanish classics, chorizo and padron peppers mixed with garlic, some of our homegrown potatoes and onions, and a lot of oil. I've never seen anybody hold three <laughs> bottles of olive oil in my life. I'm going to go straight with the Spanish onion that yep. into the oil. You're not even phased by cooking for 30, are you? No, not really, because I am used to the, the real essence of Spanish food. Life and food is always best shared. And this is what makes them special. You see, that is not a scramble, no. not fried. And the yolk breaks. Yes, and the yolk breaks. Give it a try. <laughs> Why didn't mine break? Some will, some won't. Of course, this terracotta will remain very hot for a good four minutes. That will cook thoroughly the eggs. OK. And then... I'm joined now by a Spanish chef, Omar Aliboy, who works in London, and he loves pies and puds as much as me. Hola, Omar. <laughs> Hola. Now, all these cakes and puddings and pies and tarts look absolutely incredible. But I know you're about to get involved with a serious dish. Yes. Now, I don't want to take any more of your time up. Please, take Let's over the kitchen. In. I'm going to sit down here. If you need me to do absolutely anything, let I, me know. I may ask. There's quite a lot of work. And uh, this is an ensaimada mallorquina. Maybe a bit, bit like an strudel. OK. Yeah. OK. After a busy day in the kitchen, there's nothing better than sitting down to eat with my guests who help me create today's dishes. <laughs> The best thing will be sharing, I think. <laughs> <laughs> the success of food like tapas is proof that the culture of sharing food has captured our imaginations in the UK. But as tapas king Omar Aliboy has been finding out, Spain doesn't have the monopoly on this way of eating. Not all sharing is the same. In Spain, traditionally tapas is a way people come together over a few drinks and snacks. And as a Spanish chef, I love that you Brits have embraced it too. But Spain isn't the only country with a deeply ingrained food-sharing culture. Korean cuisine is causing a stir amongst food lovers, and it's not just about the food, it's the way they eat it. These dishes are completely different from what I'm used to, and you share them differently as well. Karen, this seems like a lot of food. This is a real feast. Since you're here, Omar, we are having a feast today. <laughs> ah, that's good to hear. So explain us the rules, Karen. Just help yourself to whatever you feel like. There isn't any orders for you to eat. So whatever you fancy, go for it. And like tapas, there are two dishes, rice and soup, that are just for you. Everything in the middle of the table is up for grabs. We've got an incredible spread of fried, grilled, pickle and raw dishes. There is noodles, dumplings or mandu, and galbi, grilled beef. That's one of the beauties of sharing mm. culture, that uh, even if you don't like this dish, you still have another template to tuck into. First up, we've got a man on a mission to bring a tapas revolution to the UK. It's Omar Ali Boy. Hey. Hey. Because what is so special about this recipe, it's the, the technique, cooking a la plancha, is not cooking on the pan, is cooking on the top of the salt. Cool. Now, is this, is this considered a tapas dish? Because obviously that's what you're known for. Definitely. And uh, tapas, as I said, is about sharing. And that's the beauty of, of, of this dish, that is about dipping all from the same plate and uh, between friends or, uh, you know, with the family. 
Okay, so uh, this time we need to pan fry the loin, which is a very lean cut and uh, it has loads of flavors. That's why I choose the chocolate sauce because it needs a strong flavors too. Any mild creamy sauce will disappear with such a fantastic piece of meat. So, um, don't burn. Okay, <laughs> okay, we're stuck into the paella. We're sorry about our fellow countrymen and women there, but we're. We're trying to have a word with them. This is Omar, he's got a book out. What's your book called? Tapas Revolution. Okay, and we've got a somewhat of a paella revolution going on here in the studio. This show has never smelt so good. No, never. Well, hopefully. It's difficult because Chris Evans is here. No, yeah, exactly. No, you're absolutely right. <laughs> I understand. I it's almost yeah. the opposite of risotto when you make it because it's about leaving it alone, isn't it? Yes, now it's resting, uh, you know, and it will be good for the next five minutes. And we say in Spain, you wait for the paella in the table, the paella will never wait for you. That's, a good <laughs> That's why we understand. I, That's why I'm gonna take this to my hotel today. <laughs> <laughs> It'll go well with the massage. Yeah, okay. For six years, I've really enjoyed being a chef in London, but for me, there's nothing better than returning home to Madrid. Every time I come back and I get into the door, I, I feel something quite special. The best fish, the best meat, the best vegetables, everything comes to Madrid. Just to order the most amazing race of plants. Look at these tomatoes, they are so fresh and the aroma is incredible. 